impact of colonialism and imperialism on Africa, uh, we have with us Alana McLaughlin. Now, Lana, let's start off today by uh, having you to give us some information in reference to your background, uh, your education, and some of the things that were important in terms of eventually bringing you to us. But I also must remind the uh, audience, in case you forget, that this is the beginning of the ninth year that we've had with you. And uh, we certainly appreciate you. And we, what we would like for you to do is to give us some background, education, and some of your experiences uh, so that our audience might know more about you and some of the things that have happened to you since you first started with us more than nine years ago. Let's do it from that perspective. Well, Dr. Haney, I am in the 11th grade. I go to the Nashville School of Arts where my specialty is music. I play trumpet and French horn and piano. I do jazz band, classical, and marching band with the Pearl Cone Marching Band in North Nashville. Growing up, I loved music and I still do, but I also had a pull towards politics. I've always enjoyed learning why our government is set up the way that it is and why laws are established and the process that we go through to get said laws established. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted to have a say-so in things, and so my dream is to be a political commentator. I do plan on going to college for it. I'm undecided as of right now, but that is my lifelong dream, and I believe that I will have a show of my own <laughs> one day. That basically sums up my background and why I'm on the show, and I feel like the show gives me kind of a head start on giving my opinion and spreading my knowledge to others because ultimately that's all I want to do. And I feel like I can appeal to my age group a lot better seeing as they will probably respond better to someone who looks like them and is of their same you know, age range as opposed to listening to Fox News or CNN. Very good. And so, Lana, let's talk about, I think we said that the topic today is the impact of imperialism and colonialism on the African continent. And during the last part of this segment, let's have you to give us some information in reference to the definition of imperialism, colonialism in the African continent, and why this should be important in terms of what we're talking about today. Well, imperialism and colonialism are often confused. Most people think that they're interchangeable, though they are not. Colonialism is a result of imperialism, and imperialism is when a larger, more powerful country takes control of a smaller country. For instance, imperialism could be described as Europe's influence on North America or Europe's influence on Africa, which we'll be getting into in the next segment. Colonialism, when most people hear it, they think of Jamestown. They think of the early settlers here in the United States. But most people fail to realize that colonialism was a widespread thing, though it came in waves. There was the imperialism around the time of the early United States and the new imperialism uh, at the end of the 19th century, which is what we'll be focusing on today. And this is when Africa is divided during this period of new imperialism, I think yes. that's what it's called. This is when British, German, all these forces came in and changed the face of Africa forever. Very good. And, 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 and so what we'll do, we'll take our uh, first commercial break in, in the next minute or so. But what I want, to, want, want you to do during the sec second segment is to enlarge upon this whole idea of imperialism and colonialism and speak specifically to the uh, uh, African continent because I think that uh, you've got a lot of information in reference to uh, the relationship between these three ideas and what I'd like for you to do is to uh, demonstrate to me because I was somewhat reluctant to talk about mm -hmm. this as a topic with you this morning but I think you've demonstrated that you've got some good information in reference to it and that you're ready to prepare and prepare to deliver it. So when we take our first commercial break, we'll come back and we'll give you an opportunity to go full force into telling the audience of the impact of imperialism and colonialism on the African continent. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. 